Hello Scorpio, hello Scorpios. Welcome back to my channel, Wisdom and Light here and I am back with another guided message. If your sun, moon, or rising just so happens to be in Scorpio, this message is divinely for you. If your Venus is in Scorpio, this message is also for you as well. We're going to be diving in and seeing what is surrounding you guys. I know it's just been very hectic, it's been very heavy, it's been a lot for all of us to deal with but we're gonna get through this we're going to be okay we're going to move past this we're going to be sure of ourselves and I feel very positive about that so let's begin I already pulled up three cards that came up for you guys in regards to Scorpio so let's dive in let's begin and let's start pulling so let's see what is happening around Scorpio the first card that we have is the four of Pentacles We have the Eight of Cups for Scorpio, and we also have the Four of Cups. Hmm. So eight. Eight is very prominent in your reading. It's showing up very strongly in your reading, and we need to definitely talk about that. So eight represents abundance and things coming into completion and infinity. So... Four of Pentacles is here because I do feel that Scorpio is being called to pay attention to their finances in the month of April. I do feel like you guys are going to be budgeting. You guys are going to be making sure that money is not being wasted in places that don't need to be wasted in. Money is very sacred right now. It's always very sacred, but during this trying times, I am seeing a lot of Scorpios really paying attention to where money is going. So if there's any open subscriptions, if there's taxes you're doing, whatever that's happening surrounding money, I do feel like Scorpio is going to be paying heavily attention to that. Now, I did my readings for Aquarius. I did my readings for Gemini, and they were going through some relationship things, and they were dealing with letting go and releasing. Where I feel with Scorpio, you guys are not really releasing anything right now you guys are actually just focused on yourself you guys are just keeping to yourself and you're doing what is necessary for your well-being and your security a lot of water signs have been called to do that they've been called to really focus on what's in front of them rather than focus on what's happening around them so i am saying that for scorpio be very very mindful of your spending i keep seeing scorpios looking into investing and all of those things not that you're going to actively invest in anything during this crazy time in the world right now but you guys are doing research mm -hmm. you guys are looking into that you guys are trying to see like Worst case scenario, what can I do if I have it like this or that? I actually feel like a lot of Scorpios um, were prepared in regards to things like this happening. So a lot of Scorpios are really just trying to make sure that everything is moving forward and everything is okay. So that is um, what I'm seeing in that regard. The next card we have is the Eight of Cups, which is actually right now. So Scorpio, some of you guys could be walking away from a position of business dealing or a relationship slash friendship or understanding that something needs to come to an end for a new door to open. So Scorpio, just be embracing and accepting of endings. Endings are necessary. That's actually very similar with Aquarius. Aquarius is dealing with endings and I feel like Scorpios are dealing with it as well. But it's not supposed to be something sad or awful it's actually meant to happen the relationship or the situation the job offer it ran its course so it's just time to release it and let it go and let it be don't dig too much into it really it just fizzled out and it's really not your fault Scorpio so I would just leave it alone and release it Scorpio, we also have the Four of Cups as well that's also in your reading. So um, I don't know why, but for Scorpio men, if you're watching for a Scorpio man, if you're a female and you're watching for a Scorpio male, um, Scorpio men are thinking about people from their past. They're thinking about love connections from their past. Maybe there's somebody in their heart that he is thinking about. So I am feeling that very heavily for Scorpio as well. But Scorpio feels very introverted. Scorpio feels like they're thinking about their next move. How am I going to make more money? How am I going to provide? for my family how am I going to be safe how am I going to be okay how am I going to make sure that everything is up to par now this is not to say that other things are not happening surrounding with Scorpio everybody's situation is different but Scorpio feels very very focused on family right now and family is going to be a huge concentration for the next five weeks okay that's really what I'm seeing a very big focus and emphasis surrounding family your family needing your help your family needing your strength Okay, Scorpio, so nothing to be scared of, but it is something to consider.
Okay. Okay, so so the first card we have is clouds and visions. Okay. Oracle message. Then we have the mountains, but it's reverse spiritual quest. Ooh. And then we have control and discern. Okay. We have control and discern that also comes through in the reading. So Another message that's coming through for Scorpio that you guys need to um, definitely pay attention to, listen to your um, intuition, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to signs. I feel like you guys have been praying for answers and wanting clarity for certain things, okay? But mm, maybe they're not coming in the way that you need them to, so Scorpio, just keep positive about trying to see things for what it is because even though you guys are keeping to yourself and you guys are really um doing what's best to provide for your family and provide for yourself that don't mean y'all ain't paying attention to the fuck shit that's happening that don't mean that y'all not seeing what's happening in front of you i do feel like because you're so focused on you it's not really allowing you to have these conversations and confrontation with these people that you've been eyeing i do feel like you have your eyes on someone in regards to them trying you betraying you trying to get slick by you and scorpio <laughs> spirit's telling me you're giving them the rope to hang themselves so you're actually setting them up to be um, the reason for their demise. So what I'm seeing is that rather than addressing it like you guys normally do, Scorpio is just letting it happen. Like you guys already know what's brewing. You guys already know what's going on. You guys already know the the little talky talk talk, the little fuck shit. Y'all already know what they're trying to do. But you're actually trying to see how far they're going to take it, Scorpio. So I do feel like you have your eyes on someone or you have your eyes on a situation. You have your eyes on a certain energy or a vibe you've been feeling. So I will say that you are going to continue to get signs and visions about that. So that's just a little bit of confirmation if you have been focusing on someone that is trying to get away with something and i do feel like you're building a case or you're building something on the situation so when you do address it they're really not going to have anywhere to hide and that's normally how scorpios like to do things you guys like to collect all of your bones and then you come through with everything for the person to not even be like oh that's not what i meant scorpios like to come prepared so when they do confront you they have everything right there like you can't you can't deny that. You can't hide from that. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. Point blank, period. I got you. But even though that's not... But here's the thing. That's not Scorpio's focus right now. That's like in the back of y'all brain. That's like for May. That's May, June, or July. April feels very family-oriented. It feels much so about taking care of what's around you right now. But no, Scorpio, you didn't miss the fuck shit. And your day will come where you get to say what you need to say to that person. I do feel like somebody has been in the back of your brain. They felt like, you feel like they got away with something or it's like, nah, I need to say something. But I'm not ready to say something just yet because I have a lot on my plate. But when I have time, when my family is good, when my financial is okay, I'm coming for that ass. Like, that's what I keep hearing, Scorpio. <laughs> Yay, shit. Oh my God, I have so many Scorpio friends and I swear, like, why y'all always like, damn, y'all don't miss shit. Scorpios don't miss shit. That's just what I'm trying to say, but kudos to y'all because you guys will win that dispute, whatever it is. You guys are going to be okay. So dust that dirt off your shoulders. You got this. It's going to be okay. But in the meantime, focus on yourself. Focus on the visions. Focus on synchronicities. Focus on connecting with your guides. Focus on just you right now. You will have your time to be like, aha, I got you, bitch. You will have your time. But don't worry about that right now. Keep collecting receipts. Keep collecting your information. Your day will come. But Spirit is saying it's not time yet because I feel like you might rush into it prematurely if you try to speak on it now. So keep collecting collecting information and I do feel like you're going to have a good response by May June oh lord I just I see Scorpios investigating like oh I hate to be that person anywho so we also have um the spiritual um quest okay I do feel like a lot of you guys are being called to um get deeper into spirituality so if you serve like you know a spirit guide or a deity like Oshun, Yemaya, um, Shango, like any of those spirits or maybe 
the archangels archangel michael archangel shamu a lot of you guys are just being called to really um dive deep into um these energies that are coming in and knocking on your door so that's another indication but you guys could be resisting it because it's still new energy for you a lot of you guys could be seeking spiritual advice could be seeking tarot readings could be seeking um divine information to come in because there's y'all need clarity in regards to spiritual awakening so i am picking up on that as well and then we also have control and discern so this is piggyback writing on that other message i just said about you will have your day in court um control and discern control yourself you might get information but guess what there's more there's more there's more so even if you have something really good like oh you got a receipt there's more wait on it wait on it trust me just wait on it wait on it wait on it don't don't send it don't don't wait on it okay Thank you for listening. Thank you for deleting that text. And if you already sent it, backtrack and make up a lie. I'm not saying you guys are good liars, but when push comes to shove, y'all know how to get out of something. I'm just saying, okay? Yeah, I guess you guys are good liars if you guys absolutely have to lie. So just wait. <laughs> just wait it out. All right, so let me see. What are some love messages coming through for Scorpio? You guys could be in the brink of catching somebody cheating or catching somebody doing something they're not supposed to be doing. <laughs> you guys are finally going to get your answers in April. But wait to reveal what you have by May. Wait until May. Okay? It's Easter, right? It's Easter weekend. Like, try not to start nothing on Easter weekends. Just, y'all need to just know okay wait trust me trust me what is happening for scorpios in relationships we have love yourself first um scorpio i don't know you guys just haven't been feeling loved or honored enough you guys haven't been feeling intimacy the way that you guys need to feel intimacy so um definitely work on that there could be lack of sex lack of just love i do feel that I am sensing that. So leave a comment down below. Have you been alone for a very long time? What is going on surrounding that? For my Scorpios that are like single and in relationships. No, for, for the Scorpios that are single, I would say work on coming back to yourself and beautifying yourself. Um, because we're quarantined and we're limited to hair salons and nail salons. Like there's really only so much we can do. But still put your best foot forward. Still try to paint your own nails. Throw your hair in a nice ponytail or do something to make you feel good about yourself because I do feel like you guys are not feeling great about yourself. You guys could be experiencing irregularities. Did I say that word right? No, I didn't. You guys could be experiencing some breakouts on your skin. Um, that's still not an excuse to let yourself go or to let yourself fall into chaos in regards to your appearance. Normally, you guys are very put together, so still keep up with your skincare. Still keep up with, like just doing what you do to feel beautiful and to feel like yourself again okay it's gonna help you feel so much better scorpio so keep doing that and keep um keeping self-care um a part of your everyday because i just see a lot of you guys literally just in bed <laughs> and if you guys are working then it's okay but just not really doing a lot right now and you know just do a little bit more to feel better about yourself. Even if it's just like wearing perfume around the house and you're not going anywhere, it's going to uplift your spirits, okay? Because you guys have been investigating something or deep into something or deep into practicing something, studying something. You guys could be creating something. I do feel like you guys are like really working very hard. But make sure you're implementing self-care and just doing nice things to make yourself, to make yourself feel like happier. And that's, you know, wearing cologne or perfume, it always brings up my vibration and helps me feel better so you know we ain't gotta go nowhere but smelling good is a plus right another love message that's coming through free yourself whatever that means to you i don't know what that could mean but please free yourself whatever it is scorpio free yourself you don't have to um you know what that reminds me of that song from fantasia if you don't want me then don't talk to me go ahead and free yourself like that's the energy that i'm feeling and even though that's what y'all want to say to whoever 
wait until late April, May, I promise. I promise. But free yourself, okay? It's time to let it go. Let this go. Like, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth your time. Let it go. For my Scorpios that are in happy relationships, though, that are in love, I do feel like you guys need to deepen the relationship. Um, your partner could want to propose. Mm -hmm. Love could be wanting to happen for a lot of Scorpios as well. So I feel good for Scorpios. Scorpios are having a decent month. You guys just have to bring back romance into the equation. So I'm definitely I'm sensing that too. So let's pull up some angel messages for Scorpio. Okay. Entrepreneurship, starting that business and creating. I saw you guys studying and practicing and creating. I did see that. Another message that's coming through is wedding. Another wedding card. Some of y'all are getting proposed to, honey. Some of y'all are going to get proposed to during this quarantine. <laughs> Wow, that's actually really sweet. I love that. I love that's coming through. And, you know, Scorpio, you've been very serious. I, I get it. I know. But live up a little bit. It's okay. Play some music around the house. Eat your favorite food. Put some perfume or cologne on. Just feel happy again. You guys are really serious about something. And I get it. It's important. But shake it off a little bit. Have that balance. It's so needed. It's so necessary. You guys always crack me up. I love you guys. Scorpios, I mean, okay? I, I, I fucking love you guys. And just remember to remain positive and remain focused. I know we're going through trying times right now. I know a lot of people could be laid off. You could even be experiencing that. But I do feel like things are going to pick up. But again, things are going to improve. I am seeing that. But for right now, just try to keep your spirits up. Try to keep your, um, your hopes up because that is so important right now. Okay, Scorpio, I love you guys. I really mean that. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting and leaving comments and subscribing. I deeply appreciate you. Please be safe out there. And we'll hopefully do this in May. If we don't do it in May, we're definitely coming back around June. Be safe. Bye, guys.